No problem, there's some fruit in there, like a fruit bowl with apples and cantaloupe and stuff. about it if I could ever help you out I'll be back in about a month okay, okay man. all right my car like I'm exiting but I don't think anybody lives here but we're gonna go check we'll go we'll go up to the front we're gonna check how about that see if somebody lives here y'all we're gonna see if somebody lives here Cut it, y'all. Hello, how you doing? Hey, sorry to bother you, sir. How you doing? Pretty good. Doing good. Um, I have a YouTube channel where I do yard transformations. What? Where I do yard transformations. And I rode past your house maybe a week ago, and I saw the yard, and I wanted to stop to see if you wanted me to cut it for free. Well, I got a mortar. I just haven't got around. You sure? I, I could do it for you, no problem. I do yard transformations and I just help people out during this pandemic. I wouldn't be charging you a cent. It's, this is free. Hold on, can I, can I give you something? Can I give you something? Give, give me one second. When you were younger, uh, did you collect patches and stuff? When you were younger, did you collect patches? That's me. <laughs> so if you look at the top label, that's me and my best friend at the top, okay? Yeah. And we go around the Treasure Coast, Indian River County, and we just really help people that have overgrown yards and we cut their yards for free for them. That's why, that's, why, that's why I'm here. You know, we, we try to really help people that need help. And I saw that you got it cut once. You got it cut one time, didn't you? Yeah, I cut it. But, it, but it grew right back. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, because I was going to come help you out. And then when I came to help you out, it was already cut. It, is it highlight this in the back too? This is what I'm going to do for you. I'm cutting this for you today. I'm sorry, man. Like you, you you're going to cut it yourself, but you're ha I know you need help. It's okay. This is what we do. Like, we really just want to help people. I promise you, if you need anything, I'll be out here. I'll knock and let you know when I'm done. I guess so, uh, my girlfriend will be here tomorrow. So. See, look at that. That's perfect. I can clean it up. She's going to come here like, who did this? Hey, you can take credit. <laughs> um, I'm going to get some before pictures, and I'm going to cut it for you. I'm going to clean it up real nice. Um... Is there anything in the in the grass that I need to move that you know about or anything? So it's it's pretty clear. It shouldn't take me long, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it for you. And if you need me, I'll be right here. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you, sir. And we're just gonna cut everything on the side. We'll cut all this. We'll cut this. But we'll leave this alone. There's a lot of dirt by, behind here. If we can, then you saw that squirrel drop? I'm gonna have to put that in slow motion. By, by here. <laughs> but if we can get on that side, we'll cut that side too. But we're gonna stick to the sides in the front area. We're gonna make it look real nice for them. Oh, my God. 
make it count. So what I'm gonna do is just try to really make a lot of this tall grass low. 
I've been really erasing it all, all of it with the weed eater because I'm going to erase it and then go over the lawn with the lawnmower. But since I'm running out of weed eater string, I just need to get this as low as I can all around the house and get the whole edge of the house weed eated, then I can use the lawnmower.
All right, y'all. <laughs> After the hours of weed eating and hours of push mowing, we're done. We're finished. Look at that. Ooh. Watch out for AP now. Watch out for AP with the push mower. My hand is shaking because my I've been pushing that mower. I'm vibrating still. He go. He come when he came outside. I'm gonna see if I can get us talking. We did it a lot up there. You like it? I did it, man. I weeded a lot of it, but then I went over with the mower. I got the side over there for you. I cleaned that up. And I got the side over here around your boat and stuff as well. Okay. So, uh, okay, what I'm gonna try to do for you, sir, I'm gonna try to come every other month. I remember the last time I wanted to come cut it. It's been, this grass grows so fast. It, it's probably been like three to four months and it grew right back. Yeah, I know, it does. So, so what we're gonna try to do, and every other month, I'm gonna come check on you. And see how you feeling. If it, if it grew up a little bit more, I'll just, I'll help you maintain it. Okay. Yeah, we can do that, okay? Pay something. No, you can't. You can't pay. This is all you can. It's just helping, helping the, the locals out, man. I can't take it. You keep it. I'm not sure it's hurt you. Oh, that's all I need is a handshake, man. Like, that's all I need. You hold your money, and I'll come check on you, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll just find it. Yeah, I was been so screwed up, man. I went, I'll tell you what, I filmed the best ever filmed in my life. I had a stroke years ago. <coughs> and I went to the doctors and they put me on some antibiotics or something. The medication that they put us on, like, yeah, if I do that now, with the token, but it's hard not to take it when they're telling you it's what you need to take, you know. So, you these it. doctors, I mean, that's the best I've felt. <coughs> I was just felt the best I've felt in years. Went to the doctor and they gave me an antibiotic. Been the same since. I've been messed up ever since. Uh, I chopped it down. The girlfriend coming tomorrow, right. She, she just drove by. Oh, she drove by? There she is now. She oh. can't get in the driveway. Oh, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here, man. Okay. I took care of you. Um, I appreciate it, man. No problem. Uh, what I remember on the on the patch pack, the patch I gave you, it got our website. So if you ever want to go see the videos that we do on YouTube, just go to that website. It'll take you there. Yeah. Okay? Hey, don't worry about it. If I can ever help you out, I'll be back in about a month, okay? All right. That's how that's how you do it, guys. I gotta get out of here. Um, this man's girlfriend is trying to come see him, and I'm blocking the driveway. Let's get out of here. Hey guys, this is Ronnie's girlfriend right here. I just helped Ronnie out with his yard, and I'm, I'm just talking to his girlfriend. I, I blocked the driveway so she can't come see him. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Our neighbor won't mind if I park over there for a little bit. I'm getting ready to leave, but this is her. This, uh, I told her I'll be checking on him every month. I'm, I'm going to come by and see how he's doing and see how the yard looks. And if he needs help, I'm going to come cut it. Wow. We sure appreciate it. All right. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for letting me. You know, that's the thing, too. We go around and we look for people to help. But we understand, you know, like some people are, you know, don't know what we're up to. So, like, we tell them, hey, we're trying to help you out. If not, we can, we don't mind leaving, but I'll look at it this way. Would I say yes? Want us to help? You know what I mean. Some people might be uneasy with it and kind of nervous and say, "No, it's okay," and that's fine. But the people that say yeah, those are the people that deserve the help. I talked to him at first. <laughs> he didn't know. He, he thought I was pulling his leg at first. I said, "No." He said, "Well, how much do you charge?" I said, "Nothing." I said, "I'm coming to cut this yard." I said, I, "You know what? I'm gonna cut it." I said, "You relax. I'm gonna cut it. If you need me, just come by and talk." came out right when I finished so you guys enjoy the rest of your day it's Friday enjoy your weekend what is your name Aramis Aramis yeah it's Aramis or short AP AP that's what everybody AP. called me on YouTube channel. <laughs> okay so um I'll be back and y'all enjoy your weekend and well thank you thank and you God again. bless you God bless you Appreciate thank it. you Mel so today 
We're going to talk to Ronnie about these cars and see what he plans on doing with them. I don't want to buy them from him. What I want to do is help him invest in them so that he can take them out of here and ride them around town. Him and Pam could be cruising in these things. So that's my objective. Talk to Ronnie and see if he will be willing to let me invest in these cars so that he can drive them again. That's my goal. I don't want to take them from him. He's a master mechanic. He's been a mechanic his whole life. That's all he knows. Best I can do is ask him if he wants to fix them up and I can help him do so. So we're going to talk to him after we get done with the yard, all right? I know y'all been waiting, but here they are. Here they are. Those are some beauties, aren't they? Those are some beauties.
So I have pretty much weed eat it. Majority of the backyard, I want to say half, a little bit over half. So I feel good about that. Once again, this is a project. It's going to take more than one day to take care of this. But when Miss Pam come back here, I know she's going to be amazed. Like, wow, I can see the house now. You can actually see the house now. It's crazy. So we're going to go knock on the door and see if we can talk to Ronnie. Maybe Pam is here too. She said she gets off at five. There goes Miss Pam right there. <laughs> How you like it? It's clear it's so far. Can you, you can see that side of the house. Isn't that crazy? I ain't get as much as I thought I would get done, but that's okay. It's gonna be a project of mine. It's gonna take. Yeah, it's, it's gonna take some time. It's a big project. I like that though. I like that. I can go just come work on it. You know, I'm thinking if I work on it a solid week, seven days. I think I can do some work.
I was like running, probably think I'm knocking on the door, but I was just sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling alright? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, man. That's crazy how you can just go to the doctor one time like that. I felt the best I felt here, man. And then you go one time and now you you don't know if you're ever going to feel the same way like that again. I can't seem to shake it, I'll tell you. That's crazy. No back to the Yeah, because you're scared. You're like, what else going to happen when I leave the next time, no. you know? Kill me this time. Right. That make it scary. That's crazy to say about doctors. But that's, that it can be sometimes like that where you just scared to go because you don't know what you're going to come on with. What are they going to do? Build a, a big sidewalk over here? Yeah, well, it's supposed to be a sidewalk all the way from here to Midway Road. Wow. They wait this long to build a sidewalk. Once upon a time, that was your driveway, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That's crazy to think about. <laughs> that's really crazy to think about. Well, it's been on this part this weekend. Yeah. That thing, man, he buzzed. I can buzz the whole yard in less than an hour. Right, that thing ain't run over anything. That's a John Deere right there. Well, let's frag on John Deere. Ah! Finished up. Always something. Always something. Tell tell my subscribers how, like, how long you been a mechanic. How long have you been a mechanic? Seventy four, about sixty years. About sixty years. <laughs> Y'all hear that? This is a master mechanic right here. Sixty years plus, maybe more, doing mechanic work. The oldest thing I ever worked on was Model A. Oh man. <laughs> and you you are you are the original owner of your cars, aren't you? Yeah. And you bought Well, not a, really. I bought a bought 55 in Tennessee. Okay, you bought it in Tennessee. And I bought that Corvette. And it's a 65. I think I bought it in 69. I traded it to a guy for something for it. Wow. So you, so you, that was pretty much a brand new Corvette right here. You got those cars for a long time. Yeah. This, is a real, this is a real mechanic, y'all. A lover of cars right here. I don't know if y'all love cars like Runny do. Love some cars. Got a 34, 4, 3 on the Are you serious? Yeah. Wow, you probably got all types of stuff down there. I'll show it to you one day. One day he gonna show it to me, man. We'll see when he when he feeling that he gonna show it. What, what's in the garage? What is it? 34, 4, 3 on the coupe. Wow. Got the suicide doors, you know. Oh yeah. man, are you Open serious? Like that. Yeah. Wow. One day I get a chance to see it. So, you're running board support for reproduction, reproduction front fenders. You got the original headlights for it. Yeah, I thought y'all seen it. accumulating some. parts for a long time before all this stuff now is sky high. Yeah, for those parts. Can't afford yeah, to buy them. So. Oh, man. Need some water or something? Ooh. Yeah, I'll take the water. I'll take the water. But no, man, you, I, I'm alright. I don't want you walking around like that. Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Come on in, get some more. Okay. We, I just finished Ronnie's yard. I hope y'all enjoyed this transformation. The backyard is unbelievable. He hasn't had a chance to see it yet, but he will look at it soon. But this is what we need to do in the community, y'all. Get out and help each each other out. No matter who you are, the color of your skin, get out and help somebody. This is what it's all about. We're going through a pandemic. It's a hard time. The best thing we can do is just try to do something. You don't have to go over and beyond, but at least care for other people, all right? I love y'all, and until next time, continue to be good and cut it up. I'm ready. But I didn't know what was um, more important to you to follow you on something or I'm not on Instagram or Facebook. This is a yeah. Okay. Through, through thick and thin. It's hard to find somebody like that. That's why yeah. I've been taking my time and patient. I don't want to just be with any type of woman. I want to make sure that the woman I'm with is going to love me just as much as I love her. So. Right.
I, that's why I take pride in seeing the type of relationships that you and Ronnie have. Like, it's a beautiful thing because we all really oh, look for it. It's, it's a nice thing. Got it. They can't tell me nothing. <laughs> I ain't trying to work for Walmart now. All right, somebody get a cart. Look at this, man, y'all. I can't work for y'all now. But if somebody need a cart, there they go. It's two at least. No problem, man. <laughs> Hey, you go ahead and take one. That's what I brought it in for. There we go. A little stuff like that goes a long way. People appreciate it, man. The dude said, thank you for bringing in me a cart. Now we need to find... We need to find Ronnie a fruit bowl. That's what we came here for. I don't know where they fruit bowls are. But we're going to have to find them. So it's a little bit high. We're gonna go ahead and maintain it for him, get it cleaned up. I brought Runny some lunch. Miss Pam says he hasn't been feeling too good lately, so I brought him some fresh fruit, some crackers, and some ham. A little platter type deal. So we're gonna make sure we give that to him before we leave for lunch. And we're gonna head to Miss Angelique's and clean up her yard. So let's get right into it. No more talking. Straight to action, all right?
has come a long way since the first time I came and done it, y'all. So it looks like the little bit of work I'm doing here, once or twice a month, is making a difference because, man, it's literally stripes starting to pop in around his yard. That's crazy. So um, I feel really good about keeping his yard maintained. It just looks really good right now. So the only thing I need to do now is blow off some of this dirt from his front steps and around the garage, and then we'll go ahead and, and deliver this lunch and this fruit to Ronnie, and hopefully I'll make him feel better, all right? And we'll go ahead and give Pam her hibiscus plant. If you saw me at Home Depot, that's why I was there. Last time I talked to Miss Pam was around Earth Day, and I was supposed to come here and plant a hibiscus right here for Earth Day, but I got caught up and real busy, so today is the day I'm gonna drop it off. She doesn't know exactly where she wants the hibiscus plant, so I'm not gonna plant it for her. I'm just gonna bring it and let her plant it herself, all right? So, Let's blow this off, give Runny some food, drop off Miss Pam's hot biscuits, and head to Miss Angelique's. Says Ronnie Hampson's the door. It's past my lunch time, so since I got Ronnie something to eat, I got me something too. Mmm. Just hit one. There he is. There he is. I said, let me wait for a little bit. I know he'll come to the door. Tell Miss Pam I got her a hibiscus, okay? okay? I'm gonna put it right there so it's not in the sun. She said she wanted to plant it right here. She gonna put some plants around it. Yeah. I brought this for you. I don't know if you ate lunch yet, but I'm eating me some fruit right now. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, there's some fruit in there, like a fruit bowl with apples and cantaloupe and stuff. And then it's like a platter of uh, ham and crackers and cheese and stuff. How you been feeling? You okay? I feel like I'm coming down with cold. <laughs> oh, really? It's just one thing after another, huh? Well, Pam had it. Oh, Pam had Yeah, she told me she had. She was a little sick. She been yeah. getting over it. I just took some Zycam. Oh, man. Zycam. Yeah. yeah. No, you get to when it first starts and you kick it. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get it. <laughs> it has food, okay? Yeah, all right. Okay, um, y'all looking good now. Hell yeah. Your grass is starting to grow in. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it, it, it's high. really, like, it's almost stripes out here. I'm like, whoa, I'm laying stripes on your Ronnie's yard. <laughs> so, I'll be back in a few weeks. Um, If you need me, just let me know, okay? What's, what size shirt do you wear? Because I'm going to make you a shirt. You, you you wear size large or uh, medium or large? Medium, I like. Real? Okay. I'm going to bring you by a shirt in a couple weeks, okay? Okay. Okay, be safe, okay? Yeah, I'll talk. Medium, okay, if, she, if it's different, have her text me, okay? Okay. Okay, have a good day, Ronnie. Okay. Make sure you let her know the hot business right there, okay? Okay. Okay. No. Hi. Okay. <laughs>
but like if I can get an early start on it, I want to get an early start. You working today? Yeah, I can take whatever you want to give me. You admired it. Oh, thank you. No way. Listen, and then you had me get you a plant. You had me get you one, man. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. You've been doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing day after tomorrow is the day after today. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Ronnie's death. So oh, it I is can too. I feel the depression, but I had that after my mom passed away too. So how does that work, though? I didn't like. It's I like totally forgot that it's your, a, it was soon and like your subconscious knows. But I come around like. It's, he literally, the death anniversary is when? Uh, tomorrow, the 6th. And I, sh it's weird. Yeah. Like, I, I I promise you, I didn't show up here because of that. Like, oh, it's no, weird how I time know. works. No, like, I know that. How did I show up? <laughs> you saw them cleaning out the garage. Yeah, that that made me worry yeah, a you lot. Yeah, worried and you texted me yeah. and I told you. I, I didn't want to have to. I thought about telling you several times, and I just didn't want to have to tell it's you okay. that. You know? It's okay. It's okay. It just, it, ooh, it was rough for me. Yeah, you've been through a lot here lately, losing your brother and your parents, and gosh, terrible losses. It's hard, but you know, that makes us who we are, I guess, and... We just have to go on with our lives. That's all we can do. Uh. But I have full sympathy for you. I, one of the things I dread the most in life is losing my brother or my either of my two sisters who are all older than I am. Boy, it just it just scares me to death. I don't know if y'all knew, but this was the first video I did for my channel. Oh, it was? Yeah, and I didn't know Ronnie that. was I... home alone, uh -huh. fragile. He didn't have to say yeah. You know, I don't... You know what? The battle I have is I don't look so approachable to a lot of people. Yeah. He had a good feeling about you right off the bat. He's like... I, I, he called me at work. He said... Told this guy that he could <laughs> know the yard. He said, "I don't know why I did it." <laughs> he said, uh, "He's out there working." Man. Yeah. Then I met you. I knew. Man, you good guy. it's crazy. I just, you know, I had been helping my friend do the work, and wow. um, I wanted to do it on my own because I like helping people. But I didn't. I was scared, you know. Being with him is easier to operate because you you with you with somebody your best friend. It's easier. So I'm already a little like antisocial, but I love people. So it's just hard to like uh, deal with people that don't know you like in my life because I get oh, judged so so quick. Way. I'm the same way. So I I but I took a I took a step out and I wanted to start a nonprofit and um. And he did. He said, yeah, and that gave me the confidence. You see, yeah. it gave me the confidence to go knock on the next yeah. door. I just don't know if I would have knocked on the next door if he said no. It probably would have made me, like, yeah. think about it. You know, like, uh. Oh, uh, well. You know, I, I, I think he knows that, you know, he can hear us. Man. I hope. Yeah. It's <laughs> I amazing. Pray. Um, I was going to ask you, I, like, I don't want the cars, but I don't want you to be, like, Scrapping them or giving them away no, for little uh, or nothing. To make sure that they're taken care of. Just bringing her uncle over. Uh, okay. Sometime in February, he's supposed to be here, and he's going to bring a car guy over. And I, I think the car guy is going to say, you know, nothing. Can, we don't want these. It's going to be hard to sell them. And I, I haven't forgotten. You think about it. Whatever, I, whatever y'all you know, want for them, I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them in a the garage. Yeah. And, I, and it, it's going to be a lot of work. That's why I know you, it's going to be a rough time get, getting them to buy them. But whatever, the last person that come, if y'all don't like the price that they're giving you, just give me a call. Like, as a nonprofit, we'll get those cars and we'll keep them for the rest of my life. There, um, I don't know if one day I can come by with a scanner. 
I would love to scan the picture that you have of him standing by the, the stingray. Oh. I'll come by with a scanner and then we can, I just want a really, really good quality okay. picture of it. So if I can scan it while I'm here and take it with me, that would be amazing. Like you're not going to work today? Yeah. Oh, you going? I just go in about 9.30. Okay, okay. Give me a little hug. Okay, Aramis. All right. I'll talk to you soon, okay? okay. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, it's getting wet. It's getting wet, y'all. Look at this. Ah, man. Man.